very common issue that people are faced with is trying to keep the dog out of certain areas in the house. Here's Stanley. He's a great Wheaton Terrier. However, he loves nothing more than to get under people's feet in the kitchen, especially when you're trying to make the dinner. Here I'm going to demonstrate to you a very simple way of showing your dog exactly where it is and where it isn't allowed. To Stanley's owners, it seems like either he doesn't know exactly where he's allowed or he doesn't care. I'd suggest it actually is a little bit of both. So if this is the line where you don't want the dog to go into the kitchen, mm -hmm. the dog can't really see exactly where it is. We have it in our own minds as to where we think it is. Mm -hmm. But to make it really clear to the dog, all we're going to do is put down some sticky tape. It's crucial that there's a very obvious line for your dog, such as a change in the floor surface from wood to carpet. If there isn't, you need to make a clear dividing line using tape. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be forever. All we're going to do is kind of encourage him to come in. He already knows there's something up. There's a line there. So look at that. We haven't even trained him. That line has just gone down. He knows. Good boy, Stan. Outside, out the kitchen. Good boy. Good boy. Here I'm demonstrating how clear the message is to Stanley. I'm dropping some food on the floor and he still doesn't come in. So we haven't really, I mean you've been training him a little bit to keep him out of the kitchen, mm. but you can see the power of that white line. Mm. He almost as instantaneously realised that is the line. It's now very clear. I don't know how you're feeling. Out, out the kitchen, out the kitchen. Good boy, good boy. Okay, so, so out of the kitchen when he backs off, praise him. When he's out the kitchen, we praise him. Now, what we don't want to do is get him to think that every time he comes in here, mm. if we chase him out, he gets a treat. Mm. We want him off the line. Mm. So we're actually going to say, out the kitchen, out the kitchen, good boy. We don't want him in the kitchen at all. And he's not allowed to touch that line with his foot. Because what dogs love to do is just edge further and further and further into the kitchen. That has said to him, you don't even stand on the line. Okay. And he's saying, oh. <laughs> And you can see you can use any sort of energy to drive him out. Mm. Even just stamping your feet a little bit, moving mm. towards him. Mm. Maybe, shh, 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 out the kitchen, out the kitchen. Are you making sure you don't look at him? Or are you looking I'm at not him? looking at him now to invite him in. Right. If you look at him, you invite him. So I'm deliberately ignoring him. And you can see he's good. Now, when he's, when he's being like that, that's a very good boy. He's been outside for a good long time, mm. out the kitchen. So good boy, good boy. Very good boy, Daddy. A little bit further. Using this calm, consistent method, it'll take only a little time before your dog like Stanley will get the message and understand which side of the line that he's allowed on. As with any training, it'll have maximum effect only if your dog listens to you because you're the pack leader and you've already implemented the five golden rules that are shown in the first section of the members site. If you aren't a member yet, then hopefully this will give you a clear idea of how to communicate to your dog.